So the Christine Maiden is the second race on day two, and it's a three mile one furlong hurdle. And the top one is Full Court Press for Joshua Sutherland, Haddadge, or Vinnie Gerard, Inspector Bergerac, Paul Rhodes, Kersil, John Morgan, Mr. O'Tears, Hems, Mr. Frosty, Darren Thompson, Original Sunny, Graham Clutterbuck, Plain Lukey, Martin Leadham, Beachdale, Lola. James Shea, Lady Monarch, Alex Cherry, recruiting agent Leon van Rensburg, and Ring of Esteem, T. Rogers. So 12 then. Called in and away. Racing down towards the first flight of hurdles. Got a few long distance hurdle races this week. And Inspector Bergerac is the leader. Pulling for his hand, wants to go a little bit quicker than the jockey wants him to. And they sort themselves out on the long run towards the first of just 14 flights that they're going to take in this three mile one furlong event. So Inspector Berger up then on the case in the lead. Over that little road and racing down towards the first. Beached out Lola in the green jacket. His second curse hill for John Morgan on the inside is moving into second now. And Mr. Frosty will sort those ones as they finally get to flight one and they're all over it okay with Ring of Esteem. Just the tail in Charlie at this point, but it's Inspector Berger up by three. To Kersel in second. Beachdale loader in the green third. Similar jacketed horse Misero Tears is wide on the track. That horse is slightly paler as they take number two. And one that didn't jump in all that well was Haddadge. Also towards the back full court press, but a long way to go yet. And Inspector Bergerac putting the pace to the race over the third. The Grey Lady Monarch now moved up into second. And Kersel and Beachdale Lola. Also the orange jacketed Plain Lukey is trying to get a little bit closer as they take number four. All over that one, okay. With the ring of esteem still the back marker, just half a length or so behind Haddad. So a front running Paul Rose horse then. Five to six lengths clear. And the winner yesterday with the National Hunt flat race, but not overly keen on his jumpers this season. Sorted before too long, he usually does. And Inspector Bergerac leads by six. To Mr. Frosty in second. Kersel third. And Beachdale Loader and Lady Monarch. Recruiting agent is after that one. And the all conquering Leon van Rensburg stable. Took the opener. A pretty impressive looking horse. The main body of the field are pretty tightly packed. And the one who's out on his own is the leader, Inspector Bergerac. Skips over number five. Well clear of Kersil in second. Mr. Frosty third. Beachdale Lola fourth. Plain Lukey in the orange jacket is the one widest on the track, giving away most grand. Don't expect to see that one anywhere near at the finish because it's a chaser, really. As they take number seven. Lack of three mile chases this week means that one or two potential chases. I think I've gone into herd races just to get a mark rather than sitting at home missing out week one. But it's Inspector Bergerac who will pass the stands and the winning post with a clear lead. And we'll hope to be doing so on the next circuit as well. Uh, another 11 of them behind who've got different ideas. So across that little road and past the crowd. And off out for one more circuit of the track. Inspector Bergerac five lengths clear. Beach down Lola second just. Mr. Frosty. Lady Monarch has now dropped to the back. The original Sonny is also near the back on the front. But Inspector Bergerac leads down to about three lengths now from Kerslin second and Mr. Frosty third. And the recruiting agent is four and four court presses five. Beachdale Lola is next. Mr. O tears after that one. Then Haddadge getting a bit closer. Plain Lukey towards the back with original Sonny. And finally Lady Monarch. At the eighth then. And Inspector Bergerac's lead is down to half a length as Kersil looms on the outside. Beachdale Lola is also in a bit of a forward move. Uh, Mr. Frost is still going well. Full court press is as close as he's been so far. Ring of Esteem got the inside. I'm just tucked in behind that one as they take the next flight. He's a recruiting agent. He not rule anything out yet. Still a mile to go. And Curse was just poking a nose in front as they take that flight, but out jumped by Inspector Bergerac. And Inspector Bergerac is about half a length clear again now of Curse Hill. Plain Luke is dropped to the back. And a big 
gap them back to full press in third as they take the 11th. And Kersel's just hit a bit of a flat spot as Inspector Bergerac kicks on again. They've still got three more flights to take. And six more furlongs to race. And Inspector Bergerac is in the lead. From Kersel in second. Beach Dalola third. Full court press is fourth. Then Mr. Frosty. Recruiting agent after that one. A little bit of a gap then to original Sunny and Mr. O'Tears who's trying to get back into it. Blind Lukey and Haddadge and Lady Monarch are well out of shot. But Inspector Bergerac, jockey pushing hard as he races towards the third last. Here comes recruiting agent and full court press. And these two look like they're going to be big dangers to this leader. And they finally get towards the third last and Recruiting agent does hit the front now and skips over. It's a bad mistake though. Full court press just as he was beginning to challenge, and that could have put pay to that one's chances. But it's recruiting agent who's quickly gone two or three clear. Over the second last he goes, he's now four lengths clear. Full court press is trying to get back into it. So is Cursor also running on the outside as original Sunny. But this is the final flight, and over it goes. Recruiting agent, a good big leap. And this looks like it's going to be another one for Leon Van Rensburg. He says he's got his best chances on day two. He had a slow start on day one on the National Hunt, but he's making up for it today with the first two already going back to his stables. And Recruiting Agent is going to take this by a good five lengths up towards the line. Recruiting Agent is the winner. Original Sunny second for Graham Puttable was also having a good start to the season. Then Kersel and Full Court Press and Beach Del Lola and Mr. O'Tears and the field will trail back to Lady Monarch, who was the last one to finish. But a couple of interesting things here. No fallers again, and that's I'm not sure how many races we've had now over, over three miles plus, but we haven't seen any of those bizarre pull-ups we used to get in SO6, which is a pretty good thing. I'm sure will please quite a few people. And the winner, recruiting agent for Leon van Rensburg, original Sonny for Graham Clutterbuck, those two dominating the jump so far. Kersel for John Morgan in third, and full court press for Joshua Sutherland fourth. They're probably the four leading trainers at the moment. Over the sticks, Beachdale Lola was fifth for James Shea.